Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we talk about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are a simple way to implement pointer-based parallax animations, a framework for creating color scheme-based material app themes, world country data for your personal country or language picker and 7 more releases that made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the releases of Calendar Week 51. Starting with a new backend solution, the package Slurver provides a server-side solution which enables you to connect two Flutter apps for data sharing on both Android and iOS. If you need a quick solution for an animated counter, the package Counting Animation offers a widget of the same name which lets you determine the start and end of your counter and you have styling options and you can set the prefix and suffix like in the example the percentage symbol. Next we get a new extension package. The package Cartel extends the class's future, context, widget, media query, duration, padding, radius, border, image, integer and string. Wouldn't it be nice to have a full-fledged rich text editor in your Flutter app? The package FlutterQuill helps you with a Quill component for Flutter. Although Quill.js is an API-driven rich text editor built for the modern web, at the time of recording only mobile platforms are supported. For web development it is recommended to use the React Quill library instead. In week 46 one of the top releases was the package DNIE Tools. I was told that DNI stands for the Spanish ID card. This week we get a similar package called DNIE NIE Validator. To validate the format of the DNI or NIE and calculate the corresponding letter. I'm not sure what this means, but those who are probably know about the benefits of this package. Ever tried to get the mobile number of a girl you find attractive? Not so easy. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that either, but there are other ways to get the real phone number from a device. For example, with the package Get Phone Number. At the time of recording, this works only with Android and only on real physical devices. At least here, we get an easy way to get a mobile phone number. We all know the moment when you hear a song on the way and desperately want to know the name of the song. Apps like Shazam or Soundhound manage to recognize which song it is based on the melodies. They use an identification technology which is also known as automatic content recognition. The package ACR Cloud SDK helps you integrating the services from acrcloud.com. Number 3 of the week with 15 likes is called Flutter Country. Providing you with world country data and on top of that you don't even have to be online because all data is saved in a single Dart file. This can be useful for a country or language selector like the one we received in week 49, the country state city picker package. And if you missed that, check out the info card on the top right. I don't know about you, but if there's one thing in Flutter that I find quite annoying, it's creating a custom theme data object. That's why I'm personally very happy about the next package, which made it to the second most liked package of the week, Flex Color Scheme, offering a framework for creating beautiful color scheme based material app themes. Last but not least, we get something very special. With 21 likes, the package Mouse Parallax has become the most liked package of the week. This package offers a simple way to implement pointer based parallax animations on multiple platforms. The goal is to make mouse and touch based parallax effects as simple as possible. Those were the packages of the week. If you want to know more about the package releases, in the video description you will find a link to the playlist, a public Notion link where you can see all the releases, not just the top 10, and also links to the packages that I've mentioned and further information on technical terms that were mentioned in the video. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. I appreciate all feedback, thank you for your attention and for watching the video so far. Have a great day and see you soon.